Today I'll be reviewing the Lancome Sills Booster XL. I think that's the name. It's a mascara primer. Uh, from of course Lancome. I'm going to test out the product for three full days because I really do want to like get into it I don't want to like try it once be disappointed and quit like, I really do want to fully try out the product and see how I really you know feel about it before quitting In terms of mascara primers. I've only tried two which is the Pimel Essence Mascara Base as well as the Etude House Doctor Mascara Fixer and so I would say that I'm quite a connoisseur of mascaras as well as mascara primers on my channel I've already reviewed a couple of different mascaras I really love the Pimel I ended up not repurchasing it only because it did make it really difficult to remove so I did want to see if there was anything out there that wasn't as difficult to remove but it really did help to hold that curl right from the get-go and the Etude House Dr. Mascara Fixer if you'd like to have an in-depth video of that of course I'll link everything down below um, that one I found that it was not as strong as the Pimel and it actually kind of straightened my lashes out a little bit so my biggest fear when it comes to trying out mascaras is that it's just going to straighten my lashes immediately upon application and I really dislike having to kind of curl my lashes after because it almost always is a little bit sticky still and so like there's that weird like eyelid situation where it kind of just like peels your eye slowly away from the eyelash curler I don't know if you guys ever had that experience I dislike it and I find that it just feels like it's going to weaken and kind of harm my lashes and that's not really something that I want in just a basic product that should help to keep my lashes curled. It's been about a decade of me using makeup. I found that a lot of the times uh, Western mascaras just didn't really work for me. I have very straight, I wouldn't say too sparse, I've definitely seen people with more sparse lashes but I would say that there aren't many lashes on there. Just from far away you for the most part aren't really ever going to see my lashes i also wear contacts and have allergies and so if you have either of those you'll know that it kind of causes watery eyes itchy eyes that you know means that you might be scratching your eyes and that will sometimes cause flaking in certain formulations the full name for this product is the lancome sils booster extra large well it's xl vitamin infused lash thickening mascara primer in the description it is a lash primer that evenly separates and coats lashes with a nourishing conditioning formula to maximize the results of your mascara infused with microfibers and vitamin e this lash primer helps to improve natural lash length thickness and curl over time for a false lash effect i think a really interesting claim is that this creamy and conditioning formula not only lengthens and thickens lashes but can also be worn overnight as a lash mask personally it's a no i'm not going to be testing that i just do not think that it's entirely necessary to mask your lashes with something that is more of like a primer thing like i kind of understand the concept but at the same time i don't want to risk losing like a good amount of my lashes just because I wanted to test out this part it's not something that I personally would ever do but yeah like if you guys have ever tried it like comment down below let other know other people know how you feel about the experience like maybe it actually really did help to lengthen your lashes you know like grow them actually this product has been around for a very long time these are pricey this is $30 5 grams of product and that's 0.18 ounces if you're in the US so it's not really a lot of product even though this tube does look quite sizable I do really love this clean design with this like gold detailing which I think is super cute also um, even though this is $30 note that like Lancome is almost always on sale like you will find sales throughout the year so this I actually got during the Black Friday sale when it was $12 for just one tube which is like more than 50% off but at the same time I also know that Lancome did raise prices for a couple of products as have a lot of other beauty brands so yeah $12 is basically drugstore prices these days so I would say sit patiently do not buy it at the $30 because you can definitely get it at a much cheaper amount so the instructions for this are to apply from roots to tips of lashes 
Do not wait until Seals Booster XL is dry before coating lashes with mascara. For an optimal color, intensity, and a false lash look, apply two coats of eyelash primer to bottom and top lashes before applying mascara. So the main things that I would look for in terms of this primer is does it hold a curl? Does it lengthen a little bit? Is it voluminizing? How easy is it to use? Is there any smudging or flaking that appears even on a mascara that doesn't traditionally give me smudging or flaking? So that would mean that the primer is causing the smudging and flaking. And also in terms of like the aesthetics of the lashes, what does it look like? Does it feel natural? Does it feel more clumpy? I think t a tendency with Western mascaras is that it is quite a clumpy look to it. So just on the first day, I decided to do one side of my lashes without the primer and one side with the primer just so that you can have a visual comparison between the two. On the second day, I went with uh, one coat of lash primer on both lashes. And then the third day, I did two coats of lash primer. So on the first day, I applied the primer from root to tip as the instruction said. And something that I noticed is that the side where I applied the primer immediately clumped and straightened out as I applied. It did make my lashes more voluminous, but I had to curl again after applying the mascara, which creates a sticky effect, and I believe this technique could lead to more breakage of your natural lashes. Over time, the primer side did seem thicker and more defined from a distance, but I also noticed that it didn't give the fanned out effect that I typically like with my lashes, likely because my typical curling technique didn't work. And when you're curling after you've already applied mascara, you can really just only curl from your roots. And so it doesn't give you kind of that rounded lash effect. It just gives you an L shape to your lashes. However, I was out and about on a rainy day and I found the side without primer had some flaking by the end of a 12 hour day while the primer side had none. So I do think that the primer does help with maintaining the mascara formula. Um, and just to know, I use my Heroin Make Long and Curl Mascara, which is like my holy grail, something that I've purchased like four tubes of at this point, um, and is something that I always trust and go back to, just so that we have a consistent experience from day to day. On the second day, I was so frustrated actually, like that first time where it had applied and it had straightened my lashes already, I got, I got flashbacks. I was like, oh my god, it's happening again. I wasted $12 on a product that just straightened my lashes. Like, what is the deal? What is with all the formulas for Western mascaras? Like, it's just so heavy, so waxy, so thick. And so I did a little bit of Googling and I came across a comment on Reddit where they recommended applying heavy mascaras only to the tips of the lashes and not the base. And so on day two, I used this technique with a primer and to my surprise, like literally shocked, like why did no one say this before? But it worked, like it worked. So all of those other mascaras that didn't work out for me, maybe they would have worked if I had just applied it just to the tips. I would say it would give a different look to the lashes because again, like it's curled here, but now it's like super thick lashes but then you might kind of have like an empty space where you can't apply the mascara because it'll like straighten out your lashes. But yeah, if you are someone who has straight lashes and you almost always lose the curl, especially with heavier uh, formulas like Western mascaras typically do have, then definitely try out just applying it to the tips. It will give a different look, but I think at least it'll give you kind of like a feathery lightweight look instead of thick straight lashes. But something that I do know on the second day is that even if it did work, I found that primer created this clumpy lash look at the tips of my lashes. So it kind of just like, it doesn't taper off like a, a normal hair follicle would look like. It just kind of, it's kind of like if you 
accidentally cut your lashes with like scissors or something it, it had such a blunt look to it is what I'm ultimately trying to get to okay now on day three I I wanted to try it with two coats but instructions are really unclear because like how are you supposed to apply two coats if they tell you to not fully dry it? I didn't really wait for it to like fully dry, like I didn't feel it to see if it was dry, but I kind of just waited a little bit in between. So it does have a little bit of time to kind of set in place before reapplying. And then I went ahead and just applied one coat of the mascara as usual. And I would say that my lashes looked fabulous that day. And I think it's different because I usually don't apply mascara to my lower lashes. I just get like super lazy and also like my eyes get itchy. Like it's the first thing that comes off. But I did apply it that day, especially with a little bit of primer on each side with the mascara. And it looked really good. I felt like my lashes looked so luscious so healthy well i mean they look so luscious and so visible like you could see it from you know three feet away which i think even with me wearing like mascara i think you get an impression of me having lashes when you're sitting like three feet away from me but it's not anything to write home about it, i didn't really get compliments on my lashes but i personally felt like I would have said that they looked amazing. So yeah, there is that. I did notice though that I had flaking later in the day, uh, which I didn't have any of the two previous days. So that would mean that probably applying two coats might lead to more flaking than usual. But overall, I really like the look of it. All right, so now we are at the end of this video. What is the ultimate conclusion? I really like this. I would rate it a 7 out of 10, which you might be thinking, oh my god, that's such a bad score. I would say 7 out of 10 is, you know, on the brink. I'm still not sure if I would repurchase this. I do really like the look of it. I think it is a little bit high maintenance because, you know, why have a primer and a mascara if you could get a mascara that does the job of both, right? That really gives you like the va va voom lashes, but not having to apply three coats of product to get to that point, right? But I do really like the fact that it did help to lengthen my lashes a little bit. I wish it was more like the Pimel Essence Mascara Base, which I do think will would definitely outperform this in terms of like holding the lashes. I think removing it, it was like the typical amount of work needed to remove my mascara, so I didn't find that too much of a hassle. The Pimel Essence Mascara Base like really does test your patience, but this one does not. It is kind of easier to remove. I think one thing I didn't test is what two coats of the heroin mascara looks like without the primer. Like if that actually brings it to around the same level. Do you know what I mean? And, and also like the lashes do look a little bit clumpy and spidery. Like I have two coats on right now. I would say like up close you can tell for sure that I have mascara on and it's not like a natural look. I think from far away it does give you that definition and volume and, and kind of like, I, at least like the curling, like it stays up, right? But up close it doesn't look that natural. Yep, so that was my overall review of the Comb Sills Booster uh, Mascara Primer. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think if you've tried this product before. Also, if you like knew that tip to only apply it to the tips of your lashes and let me know if there's any particular mascaras that you are looking to try out and would like to have my review of and also what do you think of this like three-day wear test type of situation do you enjoy it and i will see you guys in the next video bye